Ah. Oh. I just lost all of that red power stuff. Oh well. Shift key fails you sometimes. I really should have my swift wolves by now so that didn't happen. Okay, well, it's happened before, but I was hoping it wouldn't happen again. So, I lost my client star. It's hard to remember what all I've lost. I think I only got a diamond on me and that, and that stuff. I put most everything up. So, not a big deal. Just a little bit more time. Uh, what I might do is just go ahead and rebuild that stuff uh, off camera so you guys don't have to sit through it again. And then I will be back in just a moment. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I was able to uh, go ahead and recreate all these items. Um, so let's go give this a try one more time. And uh, we have our first... Uh, cow out here just saw so let's get him see if he'll give us some leather without falling off don't fall off no no leather oh well all right let's try this one more time Actually, I think our platform's getting almost big enough here. I think part of the problem is messing around with these micro blocks here. And I put my uh, cable right in the way, of course. So this should be plenty of room. Let's um, let's go ahead and start running the cable. So if we put a jacketed cable this way, let's put one more. Put a standard cable here. It's actually underneath that, and then if you continue on, then it'll uh, it'll run right straight from that. So let's see if we have enough. We're not going to have enough. So let me go make some more standard alloy cable. Let's see if I make one more batch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven eight. Now I think I'm going to have to make two more. Let's get that done. And then we'll have our our battery box up here Let's see it really doesn't matter uh, let's see we'll put it here no no oh my gosh man I'm having a stroke of bad luck here All right, I guess I'll make another one of those. Okay. And then we'll put the solar panels. We need uh, to run our wire up here. Battery box will have to be over there, so the solar panels will be like here and here. Okay, so... I'm tired of making these battery boxes. Alright. Batteries. More nickelite. Copper, tin. Let's 
Actually, I'm not sure how much. I think I have anything. So we have the tin. I don't have enough copper. <clears throat> and what was the rest of it? Okay. Blue alloy ingots. No, I do have the iron and the wood, I believe. So we're going to need more silver. Which I don't think I have any left. There's the iron that we'll need. So the batteries don't require you can get battery box requires one. Okay. Four of those. Let's see, that's one over here. Oh, I'm going to need three more ingots. For the cabling. <clears throat> I'm out of charcoal there. Okay, back to the battery box. Um, three iron, piece of wood. Okay. And I'm gonna need some wool. So I decided I was going to get, what, two more? Oh, one more piece. That means I'm going to need three more ingots.
Seven out of twelve might work. Let's go see. Okay, so we'll put the battery box here. Let's see if this cable will run down here. I don't know if it'll run there, no. Cook up the steak. Okay, three more of these guys. What's going to happen here is it's not going to run there. I'm going to have to do something about uh, these micro blocks. Either that, I'll put a block here, which I guess technically you're not supposed to do, but I haven't figured any other way to do it really. These little strips and things get in the way of the wiring. See, it won't place. Well, there it goes. Won't place there, though. Because of that right there. It's just got that little hole. This is not like a full block here. So. Hmm. I don't really want to destroy the monument, but I, I'm not supposed to run it. Will it run up this way? I think this is the same thing here. Yeah. Won't run across there. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> so full block here. No, there's too many gaps, weird things going on here. Let's see if I can put a full block there. I don't know how else to do it, guys. Doesn't even like that. There it goes. Alright, finally. Okay. So did I get everything connected? Alright, so the battery box is filling up and then it's going down. So it'll, it'll sit there and fluctuate, I believe, until things start to stabilize. It's, it's starting to rain. So basically, once everything stabilizes, we can see um, sort of the status of the beast. As far as what it's requiring. Uh, after this comes up and then the battery itself gets um, charged. I don't think it'll take too long. Okay. Anybody else out there? Nope. 
So I noticed over here we have a bit of a problem. Uh, we're not generating enough lava fast enough. So this in in one here is just never getting in any lava. Um, it's able to keep up with these first few, but it's just not able to keep up with these last ones. So I think what we're going to have to do is upgrade our our um, collector here to Mark III. It shouldn't be too bad. I was thinking maybe it was the timer wasn't running fast enough, but as you could see, it's just not able to produce them fast enough. So let's upgrade this to a Mark III. We're going to need a piece of red matter to do that, though. And for red matter, three dark matter plus basically six diamonds worth of eternalists. Uh, so the three dark matter, let's see what we got over here. So we're not sitting too bad with diamonds. Um, we've got to get all that converted over to to fuel. <clears throat> we've yet to create our first piece of dark matter. So we need a diamond block and then um, eight eternalist fuels there. So with the Philosopher's Stone, oh by the way I did have to make a new Philosopher's Stone, I'll put it over here this time. <laughs> um, with the Philosopher's Stone we can uh, convert up to Eternalist Fuel if we haven't already. So let's load up our Klein Start just a bit. Oh yeah we did already, okay. I don't think we did dark matter already though. Pretty sure we haven't. Uh, so there's four of those and we need a diamond block. I mean the eight of those and we need let's put some stuff in our client star, but I don't think I've, I'm not sure if I've built the diamond block yet or not. Okay. Oh, I guess I had. Alright. I don't know if I've done the dark matter or not, but it doesn't hurt to do it again. Okay. Well, apparently I have. Oh, that's true. I would have had to, on the Mark II collector over there, created dark matter already. So, derp on that. All right, so let's uh, target that. How many downs does it take? Mm. Okay. So there's two. Okay, so there's three, and then we need uh, what was it? Six eternalist fuels. Four. Five, six, seven. Okay. All right. 
right. First piece of red matter. All right, so we need that um, for the MK3. We just need a bunch of glowstone and the original MK2 collector. So we should be able to get glowstone out of this guy. Only five? Okay. Let's see, what do we need? Seven? Okay, let's go see if we can get this collector without losing everything. So I got some safety rails over here. So I should be able to craft it with this. All right. There we go. So much better. Quite a bit faster. So it shouldn't really have any problems uh, keeping those stocked up now. Decide to put any more though, uh, it might. So, uh, actually, that one needed it. Okay, everybody else is looking pretty good. And I don't think we're still we're still not generating. Uh, generating enough uh, power per tick to keep our MFE going and the beast fed so um, that's okay um, now I think we have enough diamonds to create the swift wolves now but the problem is is that um, we don't have any more mobs out there uh, and so I can't I get I need a feather and um, until we get something else to spawn out there, I'm not going to be able to do that. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, we got to get working on our MV solar array. That's going to take uh, quite the time. So, um, let's put up some of this stuff we don't need here. Let's see. Definitely need refined iron and tin and all kinds of other stuff. Diamonds, wood, yeah, we're gonna need all that stuff. Um, how are we looking for rubber? Uh, according to my figures, I think we're gonna need around 800 and something rubber, so I uh, <laughs> think we're gonna be a little short here. So that's what, um, I don't know, 15 stacks or something. So we need to keep the rubber really, really cooking along. Um, copper, tin, redstone, all that stuff we can gra grab right out of the tablet. We're going to need about 10 stacks of refined iron. So rubber and refined iron are going to be our, our problems here. And so we need to get that stuff going as fast as we can. How much refined iron do we have? And we're going to need to target iron and get a bunch of it. Um, we have almost a stack there. So let's go ahead. We may not. Well, I, don't, I don't even know how much 10 stacks is going to be, but. Um, so we might as well dump all of those in there. So, uh, not too bad. And then, uh, for the rubber, we're going to need a bunch of the um, resin. So I have a target block of that over here. I 
And the nice thing about this is though, one resin makes a few uh, rubber balls. So I'm not sure how much we're gonna need. I'm just gonna get a bunch of stacks. And um, it's basically what it, what the deal is, is it's gonna require 64 solar panels. And I think we kind of went over that before, but um, uh, the problem is we're going to be sharing power with the beast over there. So we're going to have to just see how it goes here. Um, I think what happens is since this is uh, this is shared energy, uh, I'm not sure if the closest. It's the energy first, or exactly how that works, or if it's distributed evenly. But it seems like it's working okay, and I think it's probably because we don't have it overclocked very, very fast here. Uh, we do have this over, overclocked. Let's see if both machines can can keep up so one of these uh, sticky resins see we got nine there I think it makes three yeah it makes three at a time so it's basically 3x the speed of what this is going so we definitely need the overclockers in this and that's clipping along pretty good and it looks like it's able to keep up. The question will be... Well, it's starting to gain... You know what? I think the beast is full. I think the beast got full. Let's go see if the light's on over here. If I can remember which light it is. Yeah, I believe it is. A thinking it's this white one or is it the brown one I'm not hundred percent sure we'll know if we find a chest that of course I can't get through there now really done myself a disservice there I'm gonna have to rearrange this it doesn't really matter anyway if it's full I just know I'm going to get shot off of here. Should have made myself a bow. Okay. This is gray one, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. It's this gray one, and there's really nothing in here. Um, these heat dispersers are for nuclear power. And a bottle of enchanting, unless we're enchanting anything, is worthless to us. It's only one anyway, so um, I don't plan on building any uh, nuclear power plants, so I'm just going to leave all that stuff in there. So, yeah, beast got full. It was faster than what I thought. Yeah, because I think we already looked at the brown, right? Yeah. Okay. So how are we doing here? Oh, it's coming up slow. Yeah, so the gray, that gray light's on. It's hard to tell. 
And so there actually are a few. I think we can make almost all of this stuff now. I mean, I don't know that we are really going to get much else from the beast. Um, yeah, we're going to need nether wart to do this, uh, do the potions. We definitely can make the collector because we just made one of those. Uh, biofuel, that's what we need to get started on. I know we can make the centrifuge. Uh, that's an advanced machine that requires the lapis, but we already got that. Uh, the ender chest. Uh, we don't have what we need for the ender chest yet because we need blaze rods. Pretty sure the, the beast will give us blaze rods. I don't know how else we would get them. Um, so I'm hungry. All right. So finally, uh, once we get far enough away, we start seeing that the, there are some spawns in here. <laughs> 